we are back with our winter mute replay um and i'm having issues with the camera settings so if i look in a weird faded looking color right now despite all of the the amendments that i've done to it lately i just look funny but anyway it should it shouldn't be a big deal but yes we are oh my gosh why am i on should have I'm, i i set it up so that we had this Ah, there it is. <laughs> so yes, we are back to Wintermute episode two. So let's actually uh, pause lo fi girl. So we can have that beautiful Wintermute music. Um, but yes, uh, I can't even remember where we were. It's been that long. We've been doing so many other things in the meantime. So apologies, I will need to reacquaint myself. But we're just going to get cracking, really. We're not going to have too much of an intro. I've got a very short stream window today. Um, so yeah, let's get on with that. Okay, resume. Okay. I'm in Brickham Railroad at the maintenance card. Ah, oh, I'm on my way to get the spare. Okay, cool. It's morning. I seem to be extremely heavy. Uh, so let's rectify that. We don't need quite so many matches. Lots of teas. Any spare clothing? No. A lot of food. Okay, what's the heaviest food? We'll drop some of that because we don't want to put it in there. Oh my god. Three kilos of oil. I don't think there's anything I need the pry bar for at the hunting lodge. Huh. It's the rifle, I guess. Making us really heavy. And yeah, we're gonna drop uh, the heaviest food. Let's eat this. We also don't want to be stinky going where we're going. There we go, 38. Pretty sure I'm gonna get this if I recall correctly I get the spear and then um they go all the way back to Jeremiah and he makes me repair it or has that been changed? I think that might have been changed since Redux. Torches. Oh, I need a pry bar to leave the shed. Oh. We'll go the long way then. Oh we'll grab it and drop it. Too many escapes. Oh, you still can't leave the shed this way. Alright. In survival mode, at least, you just pry open the door. But I guess they want you to go the long way. And there's the lodge. That's where we're going. Weather seems to be okay. This is such a breath of fresh air after doing um, uh, my interloper game last night on PlayStation, which is now at day 74. Oh, it's you. You're the problem. Okay. Come on then. Yeah, you better run. I shot you. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. There's not um, there's no moose in uh, Wintermute, as far as I know. What? I'm not carrying any meat, am I? What do you want? Oh my god, you're so annoying. I shot your friend. I'm happy to shoot you. <laughs> Might as well reload while I'm... There we go. 
pain in the butt you are. I wonder if they're going to put the moose into Wintermute as like a... Um, as like a thing, you know, a story thing. You know, you have to go kill this moose as like a, even like a side quest or something. Go kill the, uh, the deadliest moose in Great Bear. So they have that like white stag um, side mission, which is quite neat. I think that's yeah, that's episode three. Um, so it'd be cool if they added in like a moose hunt or something. I mean, it's hard. It's not a uh, easy task, but they could maybe line it up for you. You do it from a blind, and they like change the path of the moose so it's a little bit more cooperative or something. I don't know. I just think it would be fun. Come on, Mackenzie, you have to shoot it dead between the eyes. Bring it down. So, why do I look so pale? Oh, I have no lipstick on. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I am not that vain that I'm going to stop for lipstick. Five liters of water is probably unnecessary. That's one of the things I definitely could have dropped. Oh well. We will lose uh, weight as we travel and eat and stuff anyway. Yay, winter mute music. I remember being so scared to come up here the first time because I got hounded by wolves. Um, but I did play Winter Mute when I was relatively new, before the Redux. I was relatively new to the game. And then when I played Redux, I was still fairly new to the game. And, um, oh, Dan is raiding early! <laughs> Hi, Dan! Hi, friends! Welcome in! I wish you interloper. What a, what a thrilling situation you survived! Thank you, Luddy Dick! AV with the resub five months. Thank you, my friend. Five. I know how has it been five months. That's crazy. Thank you, my friends. Hey, Burb. Hey, Fox. What happened, Dan? Why did we? Why did we finish early? <laughs> I hope it wasn't a bad reason. <laughs> hey, Liv. Seven years. <laughs> ah, true. I do love my Australian uh, resub voice too. Seven years. Seven years. I was just saying, when I first came here, when I first played Wintermute, I was relatively new to The Long Dark, and when I first played Redux, both times, I was quite scared to come up here because of all the wolves, um, when I was still quite new. Struth! I know, right? Not enough time to do another run. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. You're still awake, Turner! I'm proud of you! Well done! Winter moop. Yeah, we're just about to get the, um, chat is so fast, but bot's fine. Yeah, but spot's fine. Chat can't stay away from me. Aww. It's very kind of you to come straight away. Um, yeah, so we literally just, literally just started. We were in the maintenance yard. Um, I couldn't remember what I was even doing. Um, and then I realized, oh yeah, I'm going to go get the spear. So that's what I'm doing. Episode two, into mute. <gasps> Dark of Maya is continuing the gift set. Thank you, Dark of Maya. I don't know why they didn't. There was no alert there. Thank you. Sub from, yeah, you're continuing your sub from cats. That's awesome. Thank you. That was cat's uh, gift sub from the Coroathon. Thank you for that. You do have to run. No worries, my friend. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Look after yourself. Where's that spear? Oh, wow, Will, I wonder where the spear is. Could it be right next to the door? It's all good, Tim. You're sleepy. It's broken. It is broken. And your torch got taken out for some reason. Yeah, that, I think that's kind of the plan, Wilbur. Right, let's have a look. Oh, fair Fox, you have your power back. Yay! So hype train? What the heck is going on? People are do redoing their um, subs. I appreciate it. It is 7%. It is absolutely not good to eat. Unless right before bed. So. 
Oh, here's the other leaflet about the collapse of Great Bear. Uh, crackers. Oh, yeah, the phone. I'm right next to it for once. You can't answer it. Spoiler alert. Annoyingly. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. Usually I'm running to get it and I... I'm right here. <sighs> I think they want to make you run to it, but... Um, you can't pick it up. It's annoying. Why don't they have, like, you pick it up and you go, hello, hello, and there's no one there. Instead it just rings for a while and then stops. Anyway. You can't not stand having my the TLD themed emotes, yeah. It's good stuff here. I guess I've just been I've been playing Loper and um, I forget that loot is actually a thing. That's so annoying. Let me interact with the phone. Don't make this happen. And not have it be anything. Um, I think that might be a nod to one second. One moment, callers. I mean, he dies faster, but I don't know if it'll necessarily work that way. <gasps> Fuck it, eh? <laughs> yes! Oh my god, yes! I'm going too high. We're <laughs> making him mad. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Probably need to start collecting metal at some point soon. Uh, <laughs> In the long dark slide. I heard you were looking for metal. <laughs> I heard you like metal, so I put some metal on your metal. In your metal. Some metal was in that bin made of metal. I'm fucked. Okay. <laughs> it's delivery. Um, there's three boxes at my door. What's, What's this? There? What is in there? I don't know, bud. <laughs> he wants to help. I can't get that to stay on you, Ewan. Um, it's a fruit bowl, but it's a fruit bowl in the shape of an apple. Whoa! Okay, you take it. Don't break it, please. You can play with it a little bit, but do not break it. Or oh, daddy, mummy and daddy will be mad. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, there's a looting instinct. <laughs> anyway, let's go back. Uh, I can't stop. Yeah, uh, emotes. Yeah, you got your first moose top ever last night. Oh boy. Also found a uh, fisherman's sweater and snow pants and aurora mine on. Nice. What scared you so bad? Oh, the dog. Sorry. <laughs> or the bear in my highlights. Probably the hair. He looks just like you as a kid. Oh, cute. Yeah, his hair's real. Mine's not. As in, like, my hair is real, but the colour is not. Oh. Feel dressed in your kill. Snare. Wants me to snare a rabbit. Okay, well, there's rabbits outside, so. You can leave the snare here, go about your business, and come back, uh, and uh, walk around in the world, and then they're like, oh, it's a, uh, you've snared a rabbit, you've achieved this um, requirement. I think I'm actually getting some lessons from episode one, because on this account I have not played episode one. Yeah, useless flashlight. Huh? Um, it's trying to give me some lessons from the last episode, I think, because I'm pretty sure you do the snare a rabbit thing in the last one. I might be wrong. My god, I'm so freaking heavy. I need to sort out my... Oh well, yes, yeah, shush. Okay. Meet up at the abandoned hunting lodge on the outskirts of Mystery Lake. GPS coordinates, we have to stop those Briar House corporate expletive. Sorry about the dog. Yeah, she gets very excited when there's a delivery. So, those of you who saw my in my Discord, my... um. I'm going to level 1. Show me, you've collected all the level 1 home training modes. Thanks. Um, in my Discord, I put up a picture of my new desk setup. Um, and there's a black uh, shelving unit behind it. The second unit also just arrived. So I'll be building that later. 
I need to take this rope because I want to deploy it behind the house, but I'm too heavy to walk. Um, I don't think we need to double pot it. Why am I carrying... Hang on. Why am I carrying two lanterns? Let's refuel it while it's running. That seems like a safe thing to do. Drop the useless torch that I never use. Uh, we'll deploy the snare outside. We'll drop this. Drop you. Let's just do the hole. We'll drop like three litres of water. 47. God, I'm so heavy. Uh, drop a book. Drop you. Should probably change my gloves. Gauntlet hype. They need repairing, but still. Uh, I really want to take that rope to deploy it. I guess I could crawl to the to deploy it, and then I'll be light from there. 32. My lantern's burning while I do this. Drink a soda. We know you're a stubborn person, but you will you, <laughs> you will learn how to play. I don't think that's what they're doing. I, I'm a bunny. I think I'm misremembering. Hey, only true man, bear pig. How are you going? I think I'm just like because I haven't played episode one on this Steam account, but I've already played it on the channel, so I just jumped to episode two um, for the stream. I'm not thirsty. Okay, we'll drop drop some drop it cans. There we go, 45, and once I get rid of the rope, I'll be 40. I'm not going to use the rope right now, but um, I like to deploy it, I don't know why. Oh, I suppose with the story mode, I don't even need to deploy it, I'm not going to go down that way, but I could. Is the bear here? I suppose he's not. I think with Wintermute, they don't put the bear in any other bears in the game, do they? For the first two episodes, at least. There's another one here, look. So I suppose I could climb down behind the house and make my life easier. Let's see what's upstairs. Hey Yig, nice to see you. See a really short stream today. In about an hour and a half I've got people coming to my house to like draw my blood, which is just a lovely thing to have happen in your own living room. But my husband, my whole family are in a study. Because um, I work in health, I get enrolled in all the studies. But we volunteered for a study where they're basically creating a new um, they're creating a new vaccine for the flu um, which is supposed to encompass a lot more strains um, and so I'm involved in a, in a study where whenever I get whenever the family get cold or, f or flu symptoms they uh, they drop a swab um, package in your uh, letterbox and you swab yourself and then they test it and they tell you what you have which um, rules out like you wondering if you've got COVID or the flu or a particular cold or anything like that. It's a really good perk. And so far we've just had the kids enrolled in it. Uh, well, actually Ewan's not fully enrolled, I don't think, because the blood sample is not going to happen. Um, but Annie's been enrolled in it since she was born. Really helpful for when she's sick. Um, but yeah, they, um, they said, do you want to enroll you as adults into it? And we were like, sure why not um so we are getting our blood drawn today and they come to your house which is nice um they have called me yeah and i stood by the phone phone box um only true man bear pig and um it was just frustrating i just stood there by the phone box like what do you want me to do what do you want me to do what do you want me to do <laughs> and they wouldn't let me do anything um you could clone me i don't know if they're gonna clone me hopefully not but yeah so Blood, blood draws today and um, they're coming at four and if they come at four on the dot that's an hour and a half from now so um, it'll be as long as I can stream they do compensate you uh, just with like vouchers for uh, groceries and stuff but I'm not doing it for that I'm doing it because I literally work in healthcare improvement and I feel like I should be involved in these things that contribute to healthcare improvements so there we go I feel like I've at least got that if I want it I think this is goadable though I think I've goaded it before we should have a look sorry my son is listening to an extremely catchy um, cartoon whenever I hear the steam song I can't help but sing it um hmm I want to try and this looks like it's got some big drops, so maybe we'll just go around. I'll just shoot all the wolves. It's been working so far. 
Are you dancing, bud? <laughs> yeah. I think cloning's quite complicated, unfortunately. It's gonna loot these cars, but then I was like, why? Oh, where's the bunnies? Over here, I think, down the front of the house. Where do the bunnies usually hop around? It's really complicated. Yeah, yeah, I figured. <laughs> okay, so he's eating a bunny over there. Are the bunnies just like on the lake itself? Um, just need to deploy a snare where, where they occasionally run around. I haven't seen any. Just jerk wolves. Yeah, I know. Come at me, bro. Yeah, you run. This is a dead bunny over here, so should I just deploy it on the lake? They're, are they all dead? Or are there only just a few? We'll go up here. We'll deploy it up here. Deploy the snare. Yes, no. Saplings over there. Can you like cure saplings and make a bow and winter mute? Because otherwise, why bother spawn them? There's two bunnies dead around the lake here, so yeah, let's go over here. And then at some point while I'm walking around, probably in the musk egg, I'll get like a little notification. You have snared a bunny. Or it'll break, I guess. But... Alright, where's the other wolf? Because i got a bullet with his name on it. Oh, there he is. Hey, bro. Missed. Too high. Oh well, at least they're both running that way. This feels like a complete world away from last night's stream. Yeah, why would you cure samplings? Um, you can't forge here. Yeah. Well, there's a forge here, I guess, but why would you bother? I suppose if you cut down a maple sapling, I wonder if it would be like, <laughs> cure this for three days. Give me a little side quest, but I don't think it will, because I've 100% I've percented this game a bunch of times and it's never had any requests for you to um, do it. Oh, game has... Game froze up for a second there. I'm glad they used to make you go all the way back to Jeremiah and then he'd go, you need to fix the spare. And then I think you'd have to go all the way back to maintenance yard. I seem to recall it being like really to and fro sort of nonsense. As well as that loyalty system they used to have where you used to, the more things, <coughs> it was like volunteer, <coughs> excuse me, voluntary, but the more things you collected for Jeremiah or did for Jeremiah, you built up like a loyalty score and then he would teach you more things or give you more things. Um, which was a nice idea in theory, but it was kind of more annoying after... More annoying, more annoying than it needed to be after the whole fetch quest stuff that you do for grandmothers in episode one. Though they fixed that as well. They've made her a kinder character and they've made a lot of the fetching stuff um, voluntary. Like an extra bonus thing. There's hoppy, lots of hoppy bunnies over here. I should have brought my snare down here. What you doing, bud? Don't break it, please. Good boy. He's got like a tennis ball in the new... In the new fruit bowl, and he's bouncing around. Stop singing it! Stop singing it! Yeah. 
I've had to carry my baby around all day today. She has ref been refusing to let me put her down unless she's asleep, and it's just like, my back. You have a bad habit of hearing a joke and then going down a rabbit hole of what if. Ah, yes, okay. Well, the cloning thing. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. But yes. Sometimes you just gotta let it go. See it's a joke and let it go. But yes, I relate to that very much so. I used to do that quite a lot. I used to be an extremely literal person. I, I'm a lot less literal these days, but I used to be very... Quite black and white and quite literal when I was younger. Like if someone tried to tease me about something, I'd be like, no, but really. You know, and I'd give them like the real literal lay down of things. I could eat that wolf, but I'm not going to. They'd be like, yeah, I know, it was a joke. And I'm like, yeah, but in reality, and I'd give them the whole like. I'd slay them with my knowledge. Your baby has to be on your lap under a blanket, but she's a dog, yeah. Yeah, my uh, my dog loves to um, usually sit under the desk a lot of the time when I'm on the computer. But when the kids are home, she uh, she's on protector mode and she will lie outside um, by the window or on, the, on a chair near them. She's very sweet. She's not a very big dog. She just thinks that she's like... The wolf who has to protect everybody. I'm assuming I have like. I have Rosa, but I don't actually have painkillers. I also have seven bandages now. Yeah, growing up, the killjoy is as fun as getting here. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely the killjoy. I used to call, um, actually, uh, one of my usernames online was Kiwi Killjoy. Um, and I used it for a long time until my friends were like, you're really not a you're really not a killjoy um you know you've I, I guess i grew out of it i don't know but i was like oh okay now like, yeah so i changed my username to uh, just kiwi um i used kiwi online for a while but you know there's a gazillion kiwis and a lot of kiwi fruit lovers so that username is definitely not unique um evening but yeah Repo repair the broken bear at the forge okay Yeah, need two pieces of metal. Oh, here's all the wood that I've dropped and coal already. Okay, I've already been using the forge, I guess. I've got a gazillion accelerants. Let's just crack it on. Oh, I don't even... It's one to mute. I don't even have to get it to heat. The game's going to do it for me. I forgot. Let's do this. Heavy hammer. Ding, 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 ding. It's funny, I was using the hammer the other day. So I would have had the hammer nearby, actually. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Instead, I can just, uh, I can just do this. Ding, 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 ding. We'll do this. Everybody spam the hammer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wilbur. You're so naive. Oh, that is that soda tastes about as psychedelic as it looks. Right, uh, we don't need all this coal then. We'll just take like I don't know two. Forty-two kilos. Let's feed her him. Drop. <clears throat> Forty-one. Yeah, that'll do. A nice new emote in your bed. Oh, from the tradition from the hype, yeah. Um, my gun is really not in great condition. I would never normally get it, let it get that low. I love how I have an infinity fire right now. Like, what am I going to use it for? I suppose I'll stand here. <laughs> make it in survival, then shoot out of a ballista. That would make things interesting.
I wonder what else was in that order. I really don't remember. <laughs> what else was in that order that just arrived that has a has a fruit bowl and a uh, and a shelving unit? Or is it? Oh, baby wipes. Okay. <laughs> That sounds about right. Alright, well it's night time now. I suppose I should just let, let him sleep. Clean and sleep. Travel in the morning. I imagine after they've just given me two torches and I'm going to get Aurora pretty soon. Um, it's got to get it above 80. Sorry, I know the sound effect of the cleaning is not the best. Here we go. Nice. Um, unfortunately, I can't take torches. Pretty sure. I don't need to eat. I think that was water. No, I accidentally drank a treatment. That's fine. I was like. I think I'm drinking tea by accident. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Oh, it's um, winter mute. We can sleep as long as we like. Excellent. Okay. Oh yes, the winter mute. The sounds of the maintenance yard. I didn't think they changed them for winter mute though. They are less, definitely less frequent. Um, I think they probably haven't changed them. Because, though, I am hearing them. And, um, survival mode, oh my god. The constant meowing and creaking of this place. Okay. Alright, I think I'm ready to go. 39 kilos, I'm happy with that. Has the forge gone out? Always has this weird red glow. I don't even know where that's coming from. It's like, hey, I'm over here. Like, where is that? Is there a light on it somewhere? Like, where is the magic orange glow coming from? Okay. Um, yeah. I'll just use the, end up using the, rev the rifle because I don't have a lot of torches. Jeremiah and then he'll be like go get me parts for my radio we shall see the weather is very kind in winter meet too oh well I killed most of the wolves down here <laughs> I'll probably encounter a few on my way back Oh yeah. So as you probably noticed, I'm spacing out these Wintermute episodes so that I'm a bit closer to episode 5 being out when I finish 4. So I'll probably do episode 3 in about 2-3 months time. Um, yeah, maybe around early May. And then I'll do episode 4 probably around August. And then it'll only be a 2-3 month gap before episode 5. So, I'm excited to see the conclusion of the story. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, I go. 
Oh, random pieces of wood. Cool. Forgot about the bear encounter we had there. Who's a dead guy? crying which means she's either not gone to sleep at all or well there's a spare oh yeah the noise yeah or um she's woken up after a very short sleep we'll wait and see what she does i may have to uh check on her in a second but i think she's probably just not gone to sleep yet and she's complaining about it If there are any bear encounters, uh, there's one when you're leaving the musk egg, but I'm not sure. I can't remember if that happens right before. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it in case anyone hasn't seen it. I realized I hadn't um, done this in a few weeks, and I was like, oh my gosh, someone on um. Who just watches me mainly on YouTube messaged me and was like, Are you doing one to mute anymore? Because you kind of only did one episode. I was like, Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I was doing too many other things. I got distracted. But yeah, we'll be uh, playing on my evening streams. We're going to keep playing Lopa on PlayStation until the DLC drops. And then um, I'll figure out what else I want to do for like the five, six weeks between the DLC dropping on D uh, PS4 and um, having my PC built. I'll have to figure out exactly what I do on, on PS4. Maybe I'll just do a new, a new uh, post-DLC loper. Corey's public demands more story mode. One person. <laughs> I think most people don't really um, either have seen it or have played it or don't really care. But there's definitely one very, um, very keen person who was like, "I wanted to see what happened next." I was like, "It's nice that you waiting to see me play it." If you do like to watch um, things on YouTube, all of my all of my bots go on YouTube. I haven't done YouTube only content yet, though I was thinking of continuing my Day of the Tentacle playthrough as YouTube only. Um, unless I had high demand to stream that. Because I do want to continue it um, and complete it again, but I want to um, make sure people actually want to see it. You know, maybe YouTube could be the place for that. My son's watching a cartoon where they're putting out a fire. He's very into vehicles. Um, obsessed with cars, trucks, planes, trains, fire trucks. Yeah. This is starting a fire, yeah. He's not quite watching a pyromania content yet. Um, he, um, earlier he was watching a video about bullying. Yeah. Tell a parent if someone's bullying you or your teacher. Don't tell anyone, the bullying will continue. According to this video.
<laughs> yeah, he's definitely want no watching Bluey. He watches Bluey every morning. Okay, yeah, um, this is, I don't even know what this is. It's made by the super, si super simple songs people, I think. <laughs> Instant one million views. Well, it's a very clickbait he he um, title, so yeah. My four-year-old, the pyromaniac. Instant hit. Branch looks weird. Bluey's, yeah, Bluey is great. Bluey is one of the best things that's been created in recent years, I think. Um, what else does he watch that I like? I quite like Blue's Clues. I think Blue's Clues is very sweet. Blue's Clues and You is, is the more modern version. Um, what does he also watch? Carl's Car Wash is what he's watching now, actually, which is a, a character that runs a car wash and different vehicles come and get clean. And he has different buttons for different vehicles. And, um... He also watches videos where people take like little, um, like Hot Wheels cars and line them all up on the edge of a swimming pool and then push them all in. That apparently is thrilling for, for about an hour of content. That is extremely exciting. And uh, also people who take like video games but mod them so that, the, so that the, the car is not the normal car from the game but it's Lightning McQueen and the characters from Cars. And then they make videos of them driving around in these video games and like smashing up the cars and jumping off big uh, ramps and also thrilling apparently. So, quick <laughs> clickbait, popular search term, sub 10 minute length, gold, yes. Cars the movie that is only good if you're for. Cars the movie that my son has still never actually seen the full movie but he absolutely loves video clips of the movie and um people making their own cartoons on YouTube uh, related to the movie. Sure. He also loves the Wiggles, but since Emma has left the Wiggles, um, they're not as good, and so he watches Emma Mima. What? She's in bed. Is she crying? Oh, mummy will check on her in a minute, okay? No, Ewan. Don't go in there, please. You stay out here. No, I'll check on her in a minute. He's like, Mama, Annie crying. Mama, oh, I'm coming, Annie. And I'm like, no, just leave her for a minute. Hey. Mommy, yeah. You watching Carl's Car Wash? Yeah. It's good for you to listen for your sister, because Mommy did not hear her crying. Maybe a very short stream, my friends, if she doesn't stop growing. Oh yeah, I know, Troop, wasn't it lovely? And he, he's been in the new one as well. Um, him and, and uh, Joe have been in the new one. Joe was the other brief host, I believe. That's my big stag. Okay, I'm just gonna get to poachers and then I'll I'll go listen, I can't hear her. Hmm. Yeah. Joe took over and then Joe now runs a shop on Blues Clues and You. There's Joe's shop. So Josh, the current host, and Blue go shop from Joe's shop. It's very sweet. Getting cold.
definitely already been here a few times. Hmm, I know, true, yeah. My nieces who are now, they range from 17 to 22. They watched it when they were young with, with Steve. And they were quite touched by the video. Oh, bonus bedroll, okay. Okay, I'll be back in a second. I'll just chuck the highlights on for like just a couple, like a minute. Well, I just put my ear to the door. I mean, it dies faster, but I don't know if it'll necessarily work that way. <gasps> Fucking A! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, yes! I'm going too high. <laughs> I'm making him mad. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Probably need to start collecting metal at some point soon. Oh. <laughs> In the long dark slide. I heard you were looking for metal. <laughs> I heard you like metal, so I put some metal on your metal. In your metal. Some metal was in that bin made of metal. I'm fucked. I'm absolutely fucked. I'm fucked. Bye, run. I can't do anything. Is he running for a bunny or is he running for me? What am I gonna do? What? What? Sounded like he was chasing a deer. He's chasing a deer. Let's see what happens. What? What? Get this. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, so she's having a really good cry. She's not a happy camper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave her for five minutes. Um she doesn't calm down. Because she should be going to sleep. She's been um, awake for a long time so she really should be going to sleep. If she doesn't calm down in say five minutes I'll basically I'll get her up and I'll give her a bottle and see what she does and if after that point she just isn't happy we will just uh, we will just call it early. We'll just do a really short stream. <laughs> but yeah we'll give it we'll give it five minutes because she's she's not a happy camper. I think she really needs to sleep. Oh, that noise was certainly welcome. They've definitely done noise, ch some of the sound changes in Wintermute as well. Um. Actually, the, the other option I could do is just give her a bottle now, and then she'll probably drift off to sleep after that, so that could be another option. Um... That'll be my first course of action, yes. Yeah. So we'll give her a couple of minutes, see what she does, and then I'll just give her some milk. See if she, um... See if she drifts off to sleep after that. Let's eat something, see if we can lower our weight by eating. Or drinking, even. that or she's had a cat nap and she's just woken up and she's mad because she's like I don't need any more sleep and then she'll be really fun for the rest of the afternoon <laughs> yeah I mean she has had food today and she did like turn down um, she did turn down pasta and stuff earlier that I made for her brother um, so you don't make a kid eat when they're not hungry you just leave them to it so she could have decided that she is actually suddenly hungry. Yeah. Mommy's playing a game, bud. 
Yeah, she's not happy. Okay, so I'm just going to get to the entrance and then I'll, I'll, I'm going to have to take another short interlude. Sorry, friends. This may have been a, uh, a foolish attempt today to stream. Yeah, it also, um, it also stops kids having issues with foods if you don't force them to eat ever. Um, so if our kids don't want to eat, that's fine. We, we, our philosophy is that we, we offer them food. We make food every day, obviously. <laughs> um, but if they, they, they choose whether or not they eat it, um, if they don't like it, okay, that's what the food option is. So they can wait till the next meal or they can have a piece of fruit or yogurt. Um, and that's kind of what it is. We don't make extra food or anything, so. Oh. Thanks for the work, Liv! Oh well. Oh well. Oh well, I wouldn't taunt the bear. <laughs> Thing is, if you then go up there, he's not there. <laughs> he's disappeared. He's poofed. Poofed out of existence immediately. Here we are. I mean, I can save any time I want because it's story mode anyway, but let's just, um, let's save it while oh, we can't right the second. Wolfskin coat blueprint. Oh, I've shot enough wolves <laughs> to get the blueprint. That's funny. Ep2. Woohoo. Right. All right. Sorry to do this to you for like the third time, my friends, but let's just put the normal, um, clip things on and then um, I'm not showing you the highlights for the third time. Alright, back in uh, just a minute. Your mug arrived and it is awesome. It looks really good. Your art turned out great. It's a really nice quality mug. I can't wait to have my next beverage. Well, my next tea and deploy the teas. So, very exciting. I just looked at my phone and it said it had been delivered and I was like, I know I'm midstream, but I have to go get this from my doorstep. So very exciting. Nice. Nice, nice. Caca, caca. Polities, polities, look at me with my polities. Gonna drink all these teas, but probably not while they're hot still. Polities. I mean, he dies faster, but I don't know if it'll necessarily work that way. <gasps> Fucking A! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, you guys. That was so good. I was so excited. Okay. Right. Let's uh let's take our torches. <laughs> Here. So that I can go to DP and back. And when I come back Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> I think not, Bear. <laughs> I heard him. That sounded almost like the scared noise. But I don't think it was. I think it was the if there's a taste of human noise. Let's go out the back door and see where he is. That's too funny. Uh, hello, huge man. Anyway, that is huge man. Sometimes if you leave the camera and come back, he's standing right at the camera. Well, I think it does that when you report him. See? <laughs> you have to go down here. It's a huge man. Oh my god, you see why he was called before a Giga Chad. <laughs> Hello, huge man. <laughs> you skiish boots. Goat man. Na 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 goat man. Getting cold, getting cold, getting cold, but you're all right. Can't believe I've lost half my condition. But it's all good, it's all
she's up. Okay, she's up. So, um, she has a bottle right now, but she's on the floor in here with me. So we're probably going to get to Jeremiah. And I'm going to have to call it. And it's only been an hour. Uh, but some days, uh, life with small children, some days streams just don't work. This has only been the second, I think the second time or third time ever in a year that I've um, had to basically just not follow through <laughs> with the stream. That's okay. Things happen. Um, so we shall progress to the next part of the story and then we will uh, call it a day. I gave her a very small bottle. I think she's going to finish it super fast too so I'm going to have to give her some more. Gentle Ewan please, it's a good boy. Um, yeah, typical hey. Oh, what happened there? Sorry, my microphone just went crazy all the way to the red. Apologies if you guys got a really loud noise. What the hell happened? Oh, I feel bad. I hope I didn't deafen anybody just then. Weird. Hang on. I've got nothing coming through the mic. That's not... not be anything coming through the camera audio. I was just capturing audio from the camera and not my mic. I'm feeling the blue yeti cut out and that was why I saw that weird spike. Anyway, I'm having issues with it. This is just, <laughs> I think just not meant to be today. <laughs> Poor Will, making the sprint. Ewan's dancing for her, that's very sweet. Oh well, at least I can tidy up a little bit before the blood test people come. <laughs> ah. Joy of parenting. So yeah, my next PC stream will definitely also be Wintermute. Um, I was planning on kind of doing this every other PC stream, but I think it's going to have to be the next couple so that I can get it done. And also because today is so short, if I really wanted to do two and a... I was planning to do two and a half hours today. Or, or two hours today, rather. And we're not even... Yeah, we're an hour and two. Oh, I'm just going to shoot you, but I got a bit close. It's okay, Annie. Don't worry. He's a very sweet big brother. And yeah, next week, uh, very exciting, six days from now, we've got um, the motherboard will be ordered. The first major component of my PC build, so I'm pretty excited about that. let the story play out and then we'll uh we'll have to call it a day hey Ewan did you find it the legend might be bunk but the spear is real maybe the legend is also real let's hope so for your sake yeah the bear is definitely tracking you have any luck with the radio I did 
Did you see the lights in the night sky? The aurora. Well, when that flared up, the radio came to life. Just lit up. Started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Bits and pieces of things. Music. Talking. I think it needs more range. A more powerful signal. If we could find a way to boost the signal strength when the aurora is active, I might be able to get a message out. Let me guess. You have an idea. <laughs> You're starting to get it, Mackenzie. I was digging through some old geological survey maps. Those look like military insignia stamped on there. Focus, Mackenzie! This survey shows a series of radio transponder towers that cross back and forth across Great Bear. Well, why would those be there? Good question. But for another time. We can use these. How? Each tower has some electronics that would serve like a signal booster to make sure the message gets to the next relay. Okay. Well, if you get me two, maybe three of those, I might just be able to rig us up our own signal booster. You might, huh? And I guess I need to do this while old Bear decides if I'm going to become the next chapter in his legend? Don't be silly. Spence's bear would be long gone by now. That was 150 years ago. <laughs> Maybe he has, I don't know, genetic memory. Ridiculous idea. But there's definitely a bear out there, and he's definitely interested in you. You just have to take your chances. Says the guy safely inside the wooden cabin. Damn it! You think I want to be in here? I need to get a message out, and this might be the only way. What message? What does this have to do with me contacting my friend? There's more at stake than you and your friend! There's more at stake, Mackenzie. Please, Mackenzie. Get me those boosters. I'll fix the radio, and the first call we'll make will be to Perseverance Mills. I promise. Okay. I'm on it. I'll be back with the transponder part. Watch your back, Mackenzie. What do I have to worry about? I have a legendary 150-year-old demon bear hungry for my blood. Bullets don't stop him, but I'm armed with basically a medieval weapon, which I'm sure will do the trick. I'm stuck in this winter wasteland where lights in the sky make the power flicker and electronics explode, and the only people I seem to meet are all slightly crazy. And this is all after I crashed my plane deep in the wilderness and somehow lost my ex-wife along wow. the way. Wow, this is a great exposition <laughs> summary. <laughs> Don't forget about the rules. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Alrighty. So that'll be it for our little portion of the story. A very short little episode. I'll just say to the YouTube fans, this will return. Um, if I don't get a lot of chance to stream um coming up to do this i will definitely be doing it on youtube otherwise yeah i do plan to do this next week on my stream as well um apologies to everybody that did turn out to see me and thank you so much to dunn for the raid and for the resubs today like you guys have been awesome uh let's just go back to the chatting screen uh has <laughs> jeremiah in the background anyway but as you can hear my little girl is not happy and i need to uh my my priority is always is my children so uh thank you for the resub fox um troop av um and done for the raid and burb for the little bit but i think that was last night um hopefully some of you are still here um i'm having obviously issues with the stream today but um i appreciate all of you i'm i hope you look after yourselves and enjoy the rest of your day let's just see if there's anyone to raid uh there'll always be someone to raid but let's just uh let's find someone and let's just call it nice and early because yeah as you can tell um my kids are uh, unfortunately not interested in hanging out uh let's raid tina easy peasy and i will see you guys uh tomorrow night uh for more ps ps4 interloper i think we're on day 73 so i'm pretty pleased with that but yeah look after yourselves and as always um i appreciate i appreciate you yeah take care see you soon bye